Hey guys, Anthony Fusco back. Just wanted to make uh, another sports video about... Let's talk about two topics today. NHL uh, 2013 draft and the Leafs trade for David Boland. So, there we go. 2013 NHL draft has happened. Top two prospects were arguably Nathan McKinnon and Seth Jones. Debate among who would go first was, you know, rampant. We didn't really know until Colorado went up and picked Nathan McKinnon. So you know what? I love the kid. It's a great pick. He's got great skill, great hands, and he can make an immediate impact on the Colorado Avalanche next year if he really wants to. Um, now, with McKinnon going first, many people thought, okay, Seth Jones is going to go second to Florida. But that's not what happened. The Florida Panthers, who had the second overall pick, took finished power forward Alexander Barkov. That was quickly followed by their neighbors, the Tampa Bay Lightning, taking McKinnon's teammate, Jonathan Drouin, third overall. And Drouin had just a stupid amount of points this year. He had 105. Think about that. That's ludicrous. And now, this is pick number four coming up. No Seth Jones taken yet. So where does he go? He goes to the National Predators, fourth overall, in what I think is the steal of the first round end of the entire draft. I mean, they already have Blum. Alice, Weber. You add Jones to that, he's a big, mean defenseman. He's mobile, he can score. He can do everything. So you put him with Shea Weber, they're going to be patrolling the National Blue Line for a long time. And Preds fans, you got a lot to be happy about. That's a great elite prospect, and I think you guys have the, st I think you guys have the steal of the draft. Uh, let me run down some of the other Canadians picked. Sean Monaghan was picked six overall by Calgary. Great two-way center. Edmonton drafted... A big bruising defenseman in Darnell Nurse right after at number seven. Um, Corey Schneider got traded to the Devils for the ninth overall pick, so Vancouver ended up picking Bo Horvat at number nine, which is a great pick. Uh, let's see. Josh Morrissey, offensive defenseman taken by the Jets. Curtis Lazar, safe, two way forward, drafted by the Senators. And then you have, and pardon the atrocious French accent you're about to hear, but the Leafs selected Frederick Gauthier, 21st overall, and he brings some good stuff to the club. Uh, he's got dynamic size up the middle, something the Leafs have been lacking for so long. You know, he's a big center, he's 6'4 and a half, 215 pounds, um, excellent defensively, got some offensive upside, 22 goals, 38 assists this year, that's 60 points. He was a plus player. And this was his first season playing for Ramuski in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Um, I like the pick. I don't see him making an immediate impact yet. He's more of a future prospect. I give him maybe two, three years, and then we'll see where he's at. But he won't make the NHL next year, I don't think. Now, he's the future. And let's talk about Dave Boland. Now, Dave Boland's the present. He's an upgrade that the Leafs got to trade for. So... Give me some quick rundown on him. Two-time Stanley Cup winner, both with the Chicago Blackhawks, 2010-2013. Uh, he hasn't hit the prime of his career yet. He's 27 years old. Your prime's usually, you know, 29, 30 years old. Uh, he provides veteran leadership to a young club. Uh, he can play anywhere. He's very versatile. Uh, he's Boland is a Randy Carlisle type player. He's easy to coach. He's skilled enough to play in the top two lines if need be. He's also very responsible defensively, and he's gritty and tenacious when he's on the ice. You know, he'll hit you, he'll defend against you, he'll be at both ends of the ice. Bowen's a complete player, and one that Randy Carlisle is going to have a pleasure coaching. And you know what? I really like this because it's an upgrade on uh, some of the players that we have now, and it also didn't cost the Leafs a lot. It cost them their second round, 2013, that was yesterday, a fourth in 2013, again, yesterday's draft, and a fourth rounder in 2014. Now, I'll take Boland now, who's immediate help and who can be an elite player. I'll take that over three picks that honestly could turn out to be absolutely nothing. You know, Boland's proven, and I think that he's going to be a really good fit with the Leafs. You know, I like what Nonis is doing. I like the Bernier trade, and I like what he's done with Boland here. So I'm uh, very excited to see what Nonis will be doing with uh, free agency starting on. Uh, Friday, July 5th. Yeah, and uh, those are my sports thoughts for today, guys. I'm going to try to get back with some more Blue Jays videos and some more Leafs and general NHL stuff. 
with the uh, July 5th free agency. But, you know, if you want to reach me before that, my Twitter handle is at FuscoNation16. I'll post it in the underbar. And, uh, you know, send me a tweet, send me your thoughts, leave me a comment. You know, I want to interact with you guys and I want to get better at what I'm doing here. So, uh, yeah, until then, take it easy. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me rant here. All right.